Hi guys, my name is Miller and welcome to the new season video including all what you need to know about this season plus the 2.5 update info we know so far and yes, the Toyota Supra is coming to the game but later more on that. Like usual, at first we gotta claim the car, right? The Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale is a 2018 facelift with a Sportline package on it. Back in my season max times and tune video, I showed how the car in terms of performance isn't the greatest sadly and it lacks some speed. I wished it was faster but it gives room for future possibilities like above when it comes back as a prestige car. It allows opportunities but as of now in terms of performance it is kind of like a Ghibli 2.0 sadly. But definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. Now the season price for this season, the Spyker C8 Preliator, a new manufacturer and quite a surprise to me. I remember Spyker from back in the days when I used to switch cars in Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 and I put in the mod for the C8 Eileron. It was a beast of a car back then in the game, it was so fast, it was ridiculous. But now this C8 Preliator is basically based on that car. At first you might think, hey they're quite the same, but there are quite some changes to it as well. The C8 Preliator is the latest model produced by the Dutch manufacturer. The design represents ultimate translation to a road jet, like a plane without wings at first sight. All I can say is that I absolutely love the car. It looks great and it looks special but not too crazy. A great addition to the game, in my opinion. The season price is in this black, dark, grey colour, well we will have to settle down with this Dutch orange milestone spec. No joke, it's actually called Dutch orange, it couldn't get more Dutch if you ask me. It is a new manufacturer so it might take some time to get fusion parts for it, but it's well worth it as the car will run a 7.6 easily. But more on that on my season max video. Also, in the past it seems like every version that Spike has made of a coupe version, they also made a convertible. So I'm down to actually seeing a future Evo Cup of some sort with the Spider version of this car. Now the prestige car, the Lamborghini Urus. It was released last year during the period of the Geneva Auto Show where it got released with the reveal of the Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider back in season 46 as a milestone prize. I've never really been a big fan of this car and I never really touched it because I think it's some kind of a monster but I've noticed in real life people seem to really enjoy the car. It was not the first SUV added to the game, as they came just behind the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which was the prestige car two seasons earlier. It is an SUV with the aim of reaching 300 km per hour in real life, which is crazy if you think about it of trying to run 300 in an SUV. In terms of performance, it is the fastest of the three tier 4 SUVs we have in game with an 11.59 being the world record as of now. Not the fastest, but the supply cup will give some extra fusion parts for Lamborghini, so I'll take that any time. The 10 times drop rate for this car starts tomorrow, and I've heard there are some new paints and wheels available for this. Now the events. Only one plan so far, and maybe a second if the 2.5 drops, but according to the files there should be a Huracan Performante Golden Cup planned. But with the delay of the Chiron Sport Saint Dizan Evo Cup, it could well be this one is delayed or just completely removed. But to be fair, I would love to see a Performante Golden Cup as there are so many gorgeous colors available for this car as this blue Cepheus or the Rosso Festo. I could fill a full garage with these. In terms of performance, the Performante is a very good car. Definitely for starting players with an 8.098 record, to some it might seem rather slow, but the fusion parts are easy to get and it's a great 8.2 lobby car and for starting players this is a dream to get sub 10 seconds. Now, Le Moment Supreme, the 2.5 update info. For this, I will use the blog post on Tumblr that they have released officially and all the information given to us through the livestream which made its return today, finally. On the Tumblr page, it's kind of all over the place so I'll try to structureize it for you guys. First I'll mention the free content, then followed by the paid content, the aka of the return, of the return, of the return of the Fast and the Furious series. As for the free cars, I'll go over the milestone cars first. These are the Cadillac CTSV Pedestal Edition. To be honest, when I read it at first, I read it as Pedestrial Edition, but it's the Pedestal Edition. A new manufacturer added to the game, which is great, like always. Then the 2019 Shelby Super Snake. As it is mentioned as a Shelby, I assume it will not be under Ford, so it will not share stage 6 part with anything else. And as it is a Shelby, it will give us Shelby themed milestone crates at the end of the season, which can help people who are stuck with the AC Cobra in Legends. And in third, we have the 2019 Chevrolet Copo Camaro. Yes, another Camaro too many, but to me, a damn Copo drag spec coming to the game. Hella excited for this. 
To me, it seems like three American themed tier 5 milestone cars, with the possibility of the Cadillac being a tier 4, but anyways, I'll take it any day. As for prestige cars, there is no certainty yet. A new car has been added to the game which seems to be a potential tier 3 car, being the Alpine A110, which is a cute little car which doesn't fit with the American team so far as it is a French one, but yeah. And in the new design they have mentioned the Celine S1 getting new liveries as well as the Exorcist. Now I doubt the Exorcist would become a prestige car, but the Celine S1 could potentially become a prestige car with it 4 star rating. If it does become a prestige car, it will be the fastest prestige car ever. We'll have to wait to see how it will all be used, but also the Exorcist could be a Golden Cup or the Celine could be a Golden Cup. Now, three event cars which are kind of confirmed through the Tumblr, File, Diggers or the livestream. At first we have an Evo Cup which was already listed in the files of the 2.4 update for the Dodge Demon. We didn't know yet whether it was going to be an Evo Cup or a Golden Cup, but according to the Tumblr page a new demon is added to the game, being the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon HP 1200 which indicates Hennessy Performance Engineering. If it is listed as Dodge or as Hennessy, we will have to wait and see. All I hope for is that we can run Hobbs Demon in it as well in the Evo Cup. With the Exorcist getting new colors, I can also feel an Exorcist Golden Cup incoming anytime soon. Now the other three cars which are the Ford Heritage Edition and the mentioned Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport Convertible, those were both confirmed on the livestream. First the Grand Sport Convertible. This will be a car given for free to all active users as a celebration of the third anniversary. It is a tier 3 car, 4 stars and I hope it will be slightly faster than the regular Grand Sport. It looks great, fresh and a nice neat convertible. I would take a faster tier 3 any day over a slower tier 4 car like last year's Snakeskin Viper, but I must say it will feel kind of empty and not really a celebration if there is no event surrounding it. The other car being the 4 GT Heritage Edition is a special 4 GT with a Golf livery referring back to the 1968 winner of the 24 Hours of Le Mans, which was a 4 GT40 running the iconic blue and orange livery with a number 9. This will be the reward for the Made in America event. When the event comes around, I will list all the information we will know about it by then, as it is a ladder event with quite some eligible cars to lock in. And I don't want to push this video any further than its current length. So that was it on the free side. Now the Fast and the Furious part, which will be paid to a certain extent, with the final prize being the almighty, long waited for Toyota Supra from the first Fast and the Furious movie. It seems to be that we will have another series of events running into a finale, but this time with two cars of which you can use a Gold Star version of, confirmed by the livestream. So on the picture seen here, you can see the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Nismo S Tune from the fourth Fast and the Furious movie backed by a grey McLaren 720S and the Corvette Zeta 1, which indicates that these will be bought cars for the finale as the 720S does look like Shaw's car in the movie Hobbs and Shaw and they're also both listed on Tumblr as available purple star cars. But that would not be the greatest idea, right? Making a car we already have in game a paid car for an event? Well, if you already have these cars and the finale comes around, you will be able to use your gold star variant and they did confirm you will also be able to use the Vorsteiner 720S on their livestream. In case you don't have the cars, they will be buyable perhaps with the purple stars giving them extra fusion slots. Maybe in a bundle, maybe separate, we'll have to wait and see. But hold your horses, so we know 3 cars by now according to the stream to win the final grand prize of which 1 is paid and 2 are for free, that would make it a little bit too easy for a car such as a Supra, wouldn't it? Something people seem to forget is the veal side Nissan Fairlady Z from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. This was also shown as a thumbnail for the livestream and all over the Tumblr page and will most likely be one of the cars you will have to use in the finale. Also we have seen in the past that there are a series of events running up to the finale happening over various updates so extra cars can still be expected in 2.6 before we are able to actually get the hands on the Toyota Supra legitimately. I expect at least one or two other paid cars to come up before we get the finale that you will have to use. For example the F-Bomb Camaro which was found in the files of 2.4 but somehow it is not mentioned in the update notes. And now with drift cars also being added to the game, maybe Sean's Mustang Fastback with the GTR engine coming from the S15 Mona Lisa could be added or Hans RX-7. Or who knows even Mercedes Shaw used to kill Han with in the Tokyo Drift movie. A man can dream right now with CSR you'll never know. 
But what we do know is that the final car will be the Toyota Supra from the first Fast and the Furious movie, which will finally come to the game. I expect it to run under Toyota tag so we can finally put those epic fusion parts to some good use. It is so long anticipated and finally here and then this icon which was leaked months ago might also become true after all. It looks dope and I can't wait to see what it can do. It also opens up doors to the new Supra to some extent. In terms of livestream, there are also two points I'd like to mention. The garage reordering system has been delayed on feedback to some early testers of the new system. They told us to provide them information what you would consider as a great type of reordering through support or VIP, so feel free to do that. The other thing they have mentioned is future customization. They have something up their sleeve. They didn't go into detail, but they mentioned they have so many rooms available and they want to make cars more personalized to the people who own them. We will hopefully be talking about some of the customization things coming to the game soon in a stream in the near future. It's not imminent, mm. but we know it means a lot to you players. To like, there's all sorts of stuff in there, but we, we admittedly, we don't do a great job of exposing that to you guys and making sure you can choose them and, and make your cars uh, mm. the way you want. So. Yeah, we are, we are trying to figure out ways of how we can we can address that. What this means no clue, but it is definitely a step in the right direction. I will close off here, I really enjoyed the streams to be back and I really hope they keep them going for some time as it's always fun. Also thank you very much for the shout out if you also watched this video. It's a long video, thank you guys for sticking through. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. My name is Miller, see you around and keep racing.